BTN Live continuing to get you ready for the big showdown between Ohio State and Northwestern Saturday night in Evanston. Dave Revson, Jerry DiNardo, and Chuck Long. And pleased to be joined now on the phone by the guy who Pat Fitzgerald considers one of his mentors, his college coach, Gary Barnett. Of course, former coach at Northwestern and at Colorado as well. Coach, uh, appreciate you joining us. How would you characterize your current relationship with Pat Fitzgerald? Uh, I think we're we're pretty close. Uh, you know, I, I see him more as a peer now than I do a a student or a, a player or a young coach. And uh, I think he's sort of grown beyond the point where you know he he has to walk carefully. I think he he really is is very very easily uh, I'm I'm approachable and he he feels very comfortable approaching me and. And so we're we're really more, like I said, peers than than mentor uh, or teacher pupil. I, I just think he's got a lot of respect from everybody that's that is involved with him at all. Hello, Coach. Take us back to your magical Rose Bowl season. Obviously, this is a big game coming up for you know implications going to that game. What was that game for you that year going into it that you knew you win this game? you could have a magical year. Was there that one game? Well, I think Penn State probably told us that if we win that game, uh, we play Purdue, and I think we play Iowa after that. You know, Penn State was the big hurdle. Both those other two teams are actually playing pretty well. But, you know, the big four that we were playing that year, we played uh, Notre Dame early. We played Michigan. Uh, we were about to play. Uh, Penn State, and then for us, Iowa was going to be the fourth, and then in the end, the Rose Bowl playing SC. That that's a pretty good schedule to run. But I think that game told us that we were going to be in the hint, in the hunt for the whole thing. That, of course, the year that got it all going at Northwestern. Gary Barnett is with us. Dave Revson, along with Chuck Long and Jerry Denardo. Coach, you talk about when you took the Northwestern team to the Rose Bowl, and there was always rumors about whether you would stay at Northwestern, and we all know, obviously, you left. We hear the same things about Fitz every year. He's had such great success at Northwestern. What's been your advice to him, or what would your advice to Fitz be when these rumors start up during and after the season? Our situations were different, and you know better than anyone that, for me, the Colorado thing was going home. Uh, more than anything else, uh, Fitz's home is there in Chicago. That's never gonna. There's never gonna be that kind of a tug on his heart. Um, if anything, all those strings are tied to Chicago. His heart, his family, his ties. You know, he's a smart guy, and uh, he's got all this figured out. I, I. It would take. I don't even know what it would take for him to leave. I don't think that's any more after. Uh, Northwestern stepped up and um, uh, have done what they've done. Uh, you know, I think he's a lifer there personally, and, and I would advise him to really consider being a lifer. Coach, do you have any desire yourself to coach again? Yeah, you always have desire. I'm at an age that um, I think I, that would be hard for me to do. Um, I, the things that appeal to me would be, uh, you know, maybe a smaller – Division two position, or even Division three, someplace that um, uh, you know you could still go in and and have a great relationship with the kids and 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 stay in the game. You, you did the Ohio State game a, a week ago, and I'm not sure how much you've seen Northwestern. My guess is this early in the week, not a bunch. But given the knowledge that you have, break the game down for us. As I watch Ohio State play Cal, you know, I taped a couple of games. One of the things I jotted down, and it, and it came to fruition last week at Wisconsin as well, was really the only uh, way to stop Ohio State is for them to make a mistake. What Ohio State looks like to me is a team that they will make mistakes. They will give you opportunities, and you just have to be disciplined enough and good enough to take advantage of those things. Now on the other side with Northwestern, they're an outlier. Uh, I mean, they they get 308 yards a game thrown on them, and yet they have 10 picks. Four of them return for touchdown. Go figure. How do you figure that out? It's like, let's let them throw the ball a bunch, and we'll eventually score. You know, they've just got some playmakers, and, and Jerry Brown's got them picking the ball off, and Hank's got them picking the ball off, and uh, I don't know how long they can survive like that. 
but their offense puts enough pressure on you uh, between the two quarterbacks. Um, and uh, you know they they get uh, marked back this week, and they're, they they uh, spread the ball out a little bit, and they're they're just a, a gutty, hard to beat football team is the way I see it. And if if they can take advantage of opportunities that'll come up in this game, and I and they will come up because Ohio State will give you those opportunities, then you know this game could be a heck of a game, I think. Coach, what's it like for you to head back to Northwestern this weekend? It's probably the biggest game there since 95. You were talking about Penn State and Iowa. Those were the two biggest home games that year. This would not be possible, of course, were it not for what you did in those seasons. How are you feeling about returning? Well, I'm still working for a radio company, and so I'm really taking this as, as um, my assignment this week and my job, and I'm trying to do that. And, and I'm putting every minute I can into getting ready for this game because I want to do both sides a, a good job and, and, and my network as well. And so I, I haven't really thought about that a whole lot. I, I know I'm going to see a lot of former players. I'm going to hook up with some on Friday, and um, I'm, I'm going to go early to some tailgates and see a bunch of fans and, and good friends that I had there. But – you know, I wouldn't. I won't think about that until maybe after uh, the season's over, or maybe after the game. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll get to it after the game. But th- right now, I'm still. Uh, I'm still in my coaching mode, where it's one game at a time and one play at a time, and so that's that's where I am with with this particular situation. I've just got to make sure that I don't say us or our or my <laughs> during the broadcast, and I can keep it as biased as I unbiased as I can. Gary Barnett, former Northwestern head coach, getting set to call the game on Saturday, Northwestern and Ohio State. Coach, thanks a lot for joining us, and have a good trip to Evanston. Thanks, guys. Uh, Thanks for having me on.